G'day guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Sean and today we're going to be doing a, a video slash tutorial about an application called Drive by Synology. So this is really a video for those of you who already have a NAS from Synology and want to know how the app works and also a video about how you can get your files from your NAS to something like your phone or your tablet and essentially create your own little, I guess, Dropbox or Google Drive uh, or whatever you're used to. So stick around if you're new here, consider hitting the subscribe button down below and let's begin. Okay, so now I'm gonna take you through a quick tutorial on how to get the drive set up on your Synology NAS. So assuming you've already logged into your NAS and you've done some configuration already, what we need to do is go up to, I guess, the start menu for the NAS, which is actually in the top left corner, the main menu and we'll need to go ahead and click on the package center. So package center is where you'll find all of the apps that you can install, uh, be it third party or ones from Synology. Once you've opened up package center, then what you need to find is an application called Drive. When you see Drive for the first time, you'll see an install button, but as I've already gone ahead and installed it, I'm gonna go ahead and click open. Depending on your internet and your computer and your NAS, it might take a minute or two for Drive to install, so just be patient during that process. Once you've gone ahead and got Drive installed, you can click open and you'll be presented with what's called the Drive Admin Console. So the Drive Admin Console, I guess, is where you can go ahead and see if Drive is functioning properly. You can go ahead and see who has it uh, linked up with their mobile phones or with their computers. And you can see a log of any changes to drive, uh, who's been modifying, who's been deleting. So that way if you've got multiple people uh, accessing one folder, which can happen, uh, and there's a dispute, you've got a bit of a log uh, or a track record of who's doing what and when, which is really helpful from, from an administration point of view. Then you've got some information about your team folders. So team folders are folders that you can essentially collaborate with other Synology users on your NAS. So if you've got maybe a small business or maybe four or five people in the house and you want one folder that everyone can access together and modify files or contribute to team folder location is where you want to be you can also set up a folder purely just for yourself the only thing that would be different is that instead of having many users you would just assign a single user or maybe two users to that folder down the bottom we have settings which is where you can go ahead and set profiles so there's four people um, that access this profile here called sync, which is basically just saying that if any of these users um, are added into our team folders, they're gonna be using this sync profile and you can go ahead and change different settings within sync as well. So if we click edit, for example, we can say, okay, what do we wanna sync? And we can choose music, video, image, documents, or others, or we can even uh, add a specific file type so if you've got for example it says here an ISO or an EXE file you can add that in something else you can do is you can set a max file size so setting it as zero will mean that it's unlimited and everyone will have uh, sync for all files but if you've got maybe a uh, data cap you know you might want to only sync files that are uh, maybe up to 10 megabytes so you would put in 10 instead of zero then you can hit which users you want to apply that to. So you just go ahead and it's pretty straightforward, just put a tick in the box next to each user and then hit apply. If we go back to the team folder for a section, uh, for a second, you'll see that there's two folders here that I've enabled. Um, I'm just going to talk about the folder called My Drive for a moment, which is the drive that you would set up uh, for yourself. Um, if I go ahead and click on versioning, you can see here there's an option for version control and by default it's got it as 32 so that means that up to 32 versions of a particular file will be kept if modifications are made to that file which is great if you want to go back in time and you're dealing with things like word documents but i would recommend uh, maybe ticking that and changing that number maybe lower if the majority of what you have is music or video or pictures as 32 versions of a song or 32 versions of a video can quickly chew up a lot of your hard drive storage very very quickly now just one other thing as far as where you actually will see your team folders or your folders for uh, the drive application up here it actually gets created when you install the application so if we open up our file station 
we'll see on the left hand side that there's these folders here called home and homes which automatically get created when you add a user into the drive system and you have your own respective folder within each one so for example i've got here my folder called drive as i'm logged in as myself and under sean um, this is a mirror of what you see under homes so don't think that you've got duplicate data taking up um, more space than that more space than you need what's actually happening here is everything that is in homes is essentially being referenced so for example if i was logged in under alina or alexandra i wouldn't see sean here i would see alina or i would see my name here i wouldn't be able to access any other users folder the only exception to that rule is if i was the administrator so now that you've got an understanding on how the drive application works how to install it where to find it we're going to jump back onto the ipad so i can continue with um, giving you a bit of an overview on how the app works okay so now that we've set up the synology drive um, i guess configuration on the pc with the nas the next step is we're going to jump into the iOS device in this case, my iPad Pro. It can also be used on an iPhone or Android as well. And I'm gonna show you how the app works um, in that environment. So I've got here my iPad Pro. Um, this is the, not the newest, newest one, obviously it hasn't come out the 10.5 inch model from last year. We're gonna go ahead and open up the Drive application and we're gonna log in. So I've got my name of my NAS here, Little Sebastian. Um, bit of a Parks and Rec reference for anyone that watches that show. I'm gonna log in, so I'll just put in my password. Um, thankfully, you guys won't be able to pick that up. I hope, I might have to grey it out. Um, and we've got here a few folders that I've already um, put into that. So I've got Moments, which is Synology's uh, Photos, I guess, management program. And I've got here my main folder called Sean. So if I tap on Sean, I've got all the folders here. Um, with obviously different media inside of each one and for example I can go into my YouTube folder and I can go into you know, the last video which I just did which was um, all about my SSD and I can go in and open up for example some images here as well so it's very similar to what you would get with Box or with Dropbox and performance is obviously always going to vary depending on the wireless connection that you have so there always is always going to be some delay uh, with opening but you can cache some information as well and I'll show you that too. Once you've got something like an image open you can actually go ahead and share it you can go ahead and uh, share it with a link just like Dropbox or Box or Google Drive you can share it with a link with someone else who doesn't necessarily have uh, the Synology Drive application and they can open up that image as well so if you're needing to share it with um, someone from work or a family member um, it's definitely all possible. If it's a document that you want them to be able to edit, you can also give them privileges. So, you know, a link that they can actually go ahead and make modifications to the file as well. If we go back to the main menu, so you've got the little arrow up here in the top left, um, you've got the three little arrow, uh, sorry, three lines, I should say. Those three lines give you different menus and you've got here team folders and also shared items. So you can see what items you're already sharing um, in case you want to, I guess, cancel those links. Um, but you've also got team folders. So if you've got other people that are users of Synology, you can actually add them in as like a collaborator. So they can actually jump in without necessarily having a link and make modifications to files as well. You've also got this offline access part. So if we go into the settings by hitting that little tog, um, toggle, or I guess cog I should say, not toggle, there's a cache management function. So with the cache management section, I've actually got mine set to 500 megabytes. You can obviously lower or increase it as you desire. But the point of that is, is if you want to go ahead and keep um, some information always available to you, uh, whether or not the NAS is in reach or not, then you can go ahead and do that using the offline access function and then re-upload um, when you do have a connection. You've also got a recycle bin, so you can get things out of your recycle bin. So you can see here, I've got some images and folders that I've deleted. The great thing is that the application gives you the ability to go back in time and get that file or folder or whatever it might be back out of the recycle bin and put it wherever you uh, you feel like you've maybe accidentally deleted it. Lastly, you can also go ahead and under the My Drive selection is go ahead and actually create folders and also upload things like images. So if you've taken a bunch of video or photo or um, Word documents or whatever it might be, 
you can actually go ahead and hit upload and you can browse your iPad. So I've got here a bunch of different documents. I could actually upload, even if it's not a Synology Drive file, um, upload that to the NAS through the application. So it's definitely an application that I would highly recommend um, if you already have a Synology NAS. But also I would think it's an app that is good enough to replace something like Dropbox and Box or Google Drive giving you a lot of the same functionality um, without costing you any extra money. It's something that is built into the Synology, I guess, ecosystem. Um, so highly recommended. All right guys, so now that you've watched that video and you understand a bit more about how the app works and understand about maybe how you can transition from something like Google Drive or Dropbox or Box to using something like a NAS um, in conjunction with the Synology Drive app. So if you have any questions, as always, you can leave them in the comment section down below. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up. If you didn't like it, hit the thumbs down. You can reach out to me on Facebook and Instagram as well in case you wanna ask me any questions over there. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.